What about Friday night at Adelaide Oval? There was nothing beautiful about this win as we look at the moment. Well, the swan dive from Sam Draper might be considered beautiful by Essendon yeah. supporters, <laughs> TJ, and that's what it was. He decided to take the ball in, it came out, and then it got back in there. And Look, I, I quite admired the way the AFL dealt with this yesterday. They did come out publicly and address the fact that the ball, as we can see here, goes under his control, <laughs> it then comes out, and then it's pushed back in. He's make, making no attempt to get rid of it. Ideal world is the free kick is paid, but there were reasons and extenuating circumstances. And here he is <laughs> rubbing it into the crow supporters that were left up the game just That's to say funny. what happened. So, that is brave at Adelaide Oval. Look, Tex Walker having that free kick, which should have been paid 20 metres out, you think the results change, but if they're leaving it to the last second of the play... It's a problem for but the them. AFL but conceded it was wrong, but it was right. They had a bit each way. Yeah, and look, I, I How can't do you have a bit each way. It's no, but, but I, I can understand it. In, in that moment, and, and there was it was it was it did the siren go just before you might have blown the whistle again in an ideal world situation? Yeah, but it's it's still. A I split think it should second. be paid. When, when, it, when you're talking about changing the game, mm. so it happened against them last year where they missed out in the final. Yep. So I know their season's looking shot at the moment, but if they win that. Gee, they were ordinary. Going okay. Okay. Plus, but are they waiting for the last second of a game? It doesn't matter. If it's the last second enough. or the first second, you've still got to pay that as a free kick. Yeah, umpire wasn't brave enough to pay it. That's what it came down to. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. they got an issue with their rucks, I think, and it's not a bad issue, but who would have thought the near 36-year-old Todd Goldstein would be their number one ruckman? So there's the centre-bounce attendances for Goldstein and Draper. Now, Peter Wright is coming back into the side. They're trying to play Draper forward. Ineffective, three touches, and when he does mark it, his goal-kicking lets him down. So we'll see he actually takes a mark here but he can't actually shoot for goal from 20 metres out so I think they're going to have to leave out the 25 year old Draper who they thought was going to be leading this midfield for the next 10 years for Todd Goldstein who's 36 and Peter Wright comes back in because Essendon's midfield clearly prefers Goldie in the ruck. Just before the volcano can I ask as a former Essendon great or an Essendon great uh, what, are you happy with that strip? Uh, they not really I didn't like the grey one before it mm. it's a slight improvement but yeah <laughs> haven't quite got the alternate right yeah, just no, yet. Yeah, look ridiculous. No. Righto, that was a mini volcano. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the real one. Stand by. Yeah, so you can look at umpiring decisions as to what cost Adelaide, or you could look at some really average efforts from one of their bright stars in Josh Rochelle. And it's always difficult to go here because clearly there was a, an issue for him. So this is the way that they've celebrated him. This is all the stuff that we don't mind. Like We want crowds to we come to the it. game. We love it. We, want, we love it. We, we, this is fine, Brownie. This is absolutely fine when you're doing this and you're shushing the crowd and you're Rocky Balboa after you kick a goal, provided that who? when you get... <laughs> Rocky, <laughs> Rocky Balboa. Leave, this, <laughs> leave the boxing stuff alone, Kate. <laughs> Hang on. We need to show that again. Let's just straighten up because <laughs> that, that, that's no, it's not good enough for a young player. Now, we deal with this differently than the way we use to in our day you probably are humiliated in front of your teammates on a Monday but if you are going to do that and if you're going to celebrate all that off-field stuff and build the player up sign him until the end of 2029 have him conduct pre-game interviews with Channel 7 with BT and James Brayshaw prior to the game he has to be better in that moment so I think clubs have got to be careful with building up their young potential stars before they're ready and it feels like to me Adelaide have done that and in a way let their young star down when he isn't able to cope with the pressure in big moments like that. I don't put it on the club at all that's just him letting they're just letting him be the personality he wants to be I just put it purely to that football moment that I just wonder how he's going to get over and how they're going to support him through it. Hmm. Um, I think they'll play him this week because it's too big a thing hmm. to not play him but how they talked him through having the courage to stand under footballs, which you just have to if you want to have a 250-game career. Because it was just a, a genuine uncontested mark. Yeah. It wasn't running back with the flight of the ball where you're vulnerable. It was just a football act that he needed Had to be better in that, that moment. Had you seen that before this? Not really. Yeah. I've seen him have poor moments late in games, but it's more the selfishness to have a shot when yeah. he should have passed it. I hadn't seen that in him. And it's going to take some resilience for him to get over it.